Hello Southeast Asia. My name is Bima Prasena. I'm Titi. And I'm Rescue. And we're going to show you one of the most magnificent mosques in Jakarta. And also, the biggest in Southeast Asia. Not only about the architecture, but also the value behind it. And from here, we're going to learn more about the work that for a long time have been conducted and symbolized through all aspects in this mosque. And the word is... Welcome to Istiqlal Mosque. This national mosque built to commemorate the independence of Indonesia. The word Istiqlal, an Arabic word for independence. Now, the word tolerance has become one of many words that hold strongly by us Indonesian. And this mosque symbolizes that word very beautifully. If you can see, this mosque is built in one area with the cathedral it's deliberately built that way to symbolize the tolerance between religious groups in indonesia unlike many other arabs turkish persian and indian mosques that built with multiple minarets the istiqal mosque as only a single minaret to symbolize uh, the divine oneness of God. With height of 66.66 meters tall to symbolize the 6,666 verses of Quran. Now, this mosque has seven entrances and all of the gates are named after Al Asma'ul Husna, the name of God in Islam, and the number seven represents the seven heavens of Islam. The first foundation stone was laid by the first Indonesian president. Sukarno in 24 August 1961 and the construction took 17 years to finish and then the second president Suharto inaugurated this mosque as the national mosque of Indonesia on 22nd February 1978 and as of 2013 this is the largest mosque in Southeast Asia region with the capacity of 120,000 people. Very cool, magnificent. So guys, the main hall just that way can be reached through an entrance that covered by a dome with eight meters diameter, which is that one. Uh, the number of eight represents August, which is the month of Indonesian independence, 17th. August 1945. Magnificent. Here we are inside the main prayer hall, which is rectangular in shape. This hall was is covered by this massive center spherical dome which is 45 meters in diameter 
Now, number 45 represents 1945, the year of proclamation of Indonesian independence. This giant, massive, magnificent dome is supported by this. This giant pillars, which is 12 in total. Now, the number 12 represents the birthday of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is 12 Rabiul Awa. People of Southeast Asia, this mosque not just symbolizes aspects in Islam, but also Pancasila, the pillars of the Republic of Indonesia, and all of its religious groups. But that's not all. There's so much more that we can learn about tolerance from this mosque. Is that right, Vivi? Okay, Bima. Hello, Southeast Asia, people. My name is Vivi. And now, I'm in Istiqlal Mus. As you can see behind me, the architecture is very modern. This mus will teach us about the tolerance. Why? Because the architect is non-Muslim. Frederick Silben, a Christian who won the competition to make a design of Istiqlal architecture in July 1955. How can? This is the story. <music> 